Today we're going to look at how you can manually upload photos from your computer and that may be from your pictures folder, your desktop or any other drive that's connected to your computer. The upload button is up in the menu bar and I can click upload and it's going to take me to the pictures folder on my computer. I'm doing this demonstration on a Mac computer but the process is the same. For Windows computers, it might not be called the Pictures folder on a Windows computer. So this is the Pictures folder and it up opens automatically to the Pictures folder. If I wanted to select them off the desktop, I can just change the location or um, maybe a NAS drive that has some pictures on it, then I could select from that. So wherever you want to take as your source, so mine are from the Pictures folder. And I want to, to upload all the pictures in the Subnetting folder. Uh, if I close that up, I can't actually upload a folder just by clicking the folder name. You have to open the folder and select all the pictures inside that folder. Once those pictures are uploaded to Google Photos, I have the opportunity to create a new album or add them to an existing album. And that's the best time to organize your photos. Don't upload them all because they'll just go into the Photos Library according to the date they were taken so they could be you know, halfway down your library it depends on that organize them at the point of uploading so i've selected that and i'm just going to select choose and on the bottom list it shows you the progress of that upload process that process will depend on how big the photos are and how many you want to upload and at this point, if there are any photos that had already been uploaded and were in fact duplicates, Google Photos will not upload those, it would skip them. So they've been uploaded and at this point I'm going to add them to an album. And if I select any of these existing albums, then those photos would immediately go into that album, which I'm not going to do. I want a new one. And it's called Subnetting. And all those photos are now in that album. And I'll just click the tick. Go back. And in the albums. And that album is in the first place there. And if I go into photos. The photo library. The actual images are at the beginning of the photo library. Where they are placed in your photo library depends on the date that they were taken. So if I want to check that, I can go into a photo and into the info and it's today's date. Because either this is the day that I actually took those screen captures off the, an iPad. And so that's the position that they're placed in, in the library. Now the other way to upload photos is clicking that upload button and you can drag files onto that page to upload new content. So if I cancel this, just open up again and go to the desktop and just pick a picture uh, and I want to upload that so I can just drag it straight on and it will upload that picture and once it's uploaded that picture again it will give me that same message, do you want to add it to an existing album or create a new album or just let it go into the library in no album. So I don't particularly want it in an album, so I'm just going to deselect that. And there's the, the picture. So in this video, we looked at how you can manually upload images, screen captures from your computer.